Are you struggling to get your Hashimoto's under control? If so, Nigella sativa can help. This natural herb has been used for centuries to improve health, and yet so few thyroid patients know it exists. And that's too bad considering at least one double-blind placebo-controlled trial has shown that taking this may be able to help you put your Hashimoto's into remission. If you have never heard about this botanical ingredient, here's what you need to know. Nigella sativa is the name of the flowering plant that produces black cumin seeds. The seeds are then crushed into a powder which creates Nigella sativa powder. And it's this powder that can then be put into supplement form that provides all the benefits that we are about to discuss. First on that list is its ability to lower thyroid antibodies. One of the best ways to assess the severity of your disease if you have Hashimoto's is by looking at your antibody levels. You can use these antibody levels to determine how badly or how aggressively your thyroid is being damaged by your immune system. The more and higher your antibodies are, the faster your thyroid gland will be destroyed. What's amazing about this compound is that it has been shown in several studies to help lower those thyroid antibodies which means you are preserving thyroid gland function, which is a step in putting your disease into remission. For instance, in one study, taking 2,000 milligrams of Nigella sativa powder daily for eight weeks was enough to lower thyroid antibodies by up to 30%. In a world where the conventional medical community has very little to offer for patients with Hashimoto's, this is huge. Benefit number two is that it can improve T3 and T4 levels. The autoimmune attack that occurs in Hashimoto's thyroiditis damages your thyroid gland, which leads to a drop in both T4 and T3. And it is this decline in thyroid hormones, which leads to all of the symptoms that you're already familiar with, like weight gain, hair loss, depression, cold intolerance, fatigue, and so on. But through its positive effects on the immune system and the thyroid gland itself, Taking Nigella sativa can help bump up these numbers, and the higher your T4 and T3 are, the better you will feel. Normally, in order to do this, you would have to take thyroid medication like levothyroxine, Synthroid, or Armothyroid. However, research shows that you can get a boost to these levels with Nigella sativa. Benefit number three is that it helps to reduce inflammation. At its heart, Hashimoto's is really a disease of inflammation. And this is why patients who have it should do everything in their power to reduce inflammation in their whole body, but especially in their thyroid gland. Because Nigella sativa contains special anti-inflammatory compounds, including thymoquinone, it can help do that. Benefit number four is that it improves cholesterol and lipids. Thyroid problems and high cholesterol go hand in hand, which is a big problem because the higher cholesterol that you have, the more likely you are to experience problems like heart attack or stroke. If you are a thyroid patient who is struggling to get your cholesterol under control, then taking the Gela Sativa may help you get there. Research has shown that taking it can help to lower total cholesterol, lower triglycerides, and raise HDL. And the best part is these benefits occur independent of its effects on the thyroid. But it's important to realize that by treating your thyroid, you will also see an improvement in your cholesterol by itself. So in this way, by taking the Gela Sativa, you can double dip on the benefits on cholesterol. Benefit number five is that it helps to regulate weight as well as muscle mass. Studies have shown that taking it can help reduce waist circumference, BMI, and total body fat. In fact, one meta-analysis, which looked at 14 studies on the Gela Sativa, found that 10 of those 14 showed a positive impact on body weight and fat mass. This of course is great for thyroid patients who already struggle to lose weight because Hashimoto's damages the thyroid, which results in a drop in metabolism. When it comes to supplementing with Nigella sativa, here's what you need to know. In order to get the benefits you're looking for, you have to use the right type of Nigella sativa and at the right dose. And for this, we have studies which show exactly what we need to do. Based on available data, the right dose is around 2,000 milligrams taken each and every day, and the minimum amount of time they should be taken is eight weeks. This eight-week time frame allows for your body and physiology to change and for you to see improvements in your thyroid and your immune system. If you are someone who is going to be using Nigella sativa to treat Hashimoto's, then my recommendation is to add on selenium and myo-inositol 
because there are studies showing that this combination worked particularly well for reducing thyroid antibodies and improving thyroid function. Based on my experience, here's how I recommend using Nigella Sativa if you have Hashimoto's. For daily maintenance, use 2000 milligrams taken every single day, either in the morning or at night. If you are in a Hashimoto's flare up, then your dose should be increased to 4000 milligrams taken every single day with 2000 taken in the morning and 2000 taken in the evening. To improve absorption, make sure that you are taking your Nigella Sativa with a meal. And if you are taking thyroid medication, make sure that you take it 30 to 60 minutes away. As far as duration goes, make sure that you plan to use it for a minimum of eight weeks. But I have found that you need to really take it for three to four months in order for it to reach its full benefit. There's also no need to take breaks or to stop. If you want to monitor your lab tests while taking it, make sure that you do not check them sooner than eight weeks. My recommendation would be to wait until you have taken it every single day for 12 weeks before you check. And if you're going to check your thyroid antibodies, you might as well add in a free T3 and a free T4 as well. You'll know if it's working because you will see a drop in your TPO and thyroglobulin antibodies and a rise in your free T3 and free T4. What about black seed oil? How does Nigella sativa compare to that? You may have seen the terms Nigella sativa and black seed oil used interchangeably, but they are not the same thing. In a simple sense, you can think of the oil as a concentrated version of the powder. Instead of turning the plant into a powder, what you can do is press it until an oil comes out, and that is the black seed oil that you sometimes see in supplement form. And this oil changes the ingredient profile as well as the potential benefits compared to the powder. For instance, the oil has higher concentrations of thymoquinone, but lower concentrations of water-soluble bioactive compounds. The oil also ends up with a higher concentration of omega-6 fatty acids. And perhaps the most significant change is the fact that the oil has a much different flavor compared to the powder. And the flavor of black seed oil can be very off-putting, which can limit patient compliance and your desire to actually take it every day. Comparatively speaking, it is the powder that contains the more complete profile of bioactive compounds compared to the oil. And when you look at the studies, most studies actually use the powder, not the oil. It is for these reasons that I recommend patients with Hashimoto's use Nigella Sativa powder instead of black seed oil. But let me be clear in saying that you can still obtain results by using black seed oil. The bottom line is that Nigella Sativa may be one of the best ingredients for Hashimoto's that you have never heard of, but it's not the only supplement that can help. If you wanna see a list of other supplements that I have effectively used to help thyroid patients lower their thyroid antibodies, make sure you check out this video next.